Well, it's a Thursday afternoon and we're not at work and we're in a new van. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go camping. We're gonna head up to Tintagel and do a little bit of wild camping tonight and see how the van is, sort of get used to it a bit. Stick with us and we'll see what happens. And no doubt, it might stop raining at some point. We're Mark and V, and this is our adventures. Tintagel and we're in the car park on the far right of the town and you walk down into Tintagel and I'm just looking over here the car park allows camper vans overnight camper vans eight pound all day leaving at ten the following day there's a chip and pin so there's no issues there Quite chilly, but um, we're gonna have a cup of coffee and then I think we'll uh, wander down and have a look around. I think we might go out for food tonight. And you see, it's quite a nice level pitch. It's relatively quiet as well. I mean, yes, it's March. So it is early in the year, and the weather has been atrocious for the last couple of days, like I say. But it's not a bad spot. And that seems to be eight pound all year round, so in the summertime, when it's really nice, I imagine this is quite, quite a place to be. I'll find out the exact name of the place, and what I'll also do is I'll do a what three words down below so you can see if you want to come here, where it is. Look how quiet it is. Anybody who's been to Tintagio in the summer will know just how busy it is. How different. So, uh, there's a uh, pizza place there. There's pizzas, fried chicken, tacos and burgers. There's a little premiere shop there and I'm sure if we uh, walk down there's going to be a few more bits and pieces I'm, I'm sure a few pubs will be open. Amazing how cold it's got as well. So. Sun's starting to drop now and it really doesn't feel very warm at all. I'm not sure it's going to be quite cold tonight but we'll see. And have a little water down through and I'm just waiting for the we've got to it. So, um, just The bud. <laughs> what have you just seen? Oh, we'll see lots of them in a few weeks. That's Bala. Balinese, isn't it? Oh, Javanese, Javanese Balinese. Yeah. Go like that. You ordered it just for me. I always feel better when I see a sunset. Even if it is cold. I can't believe how quiet it is. <laughs> well, if only Tintagel could be like this in the summer. It's quite nice in the summer. I quite like it. Um, if you remember the weekend down before, it was like a charity building. That's true, yeah, it was. It's quite nice for that sort of thing. Funnily enough, there's another week we're at Glastonbury. <laughs> with all the links to King Arthur. And here we are at Tintagio. Our Forian Centre. This is where the village tea rooms are, isn't it? <laughs> it looks so much bigger when we were here in the summer. Yeah. 
Yeah, they have little cream teas here. Set up little tables and it gets really, really busy. Funnily enough, though, it seems really small now. Look at that, doesn't that building look great? This is the old post office. The old post office, a medieval hall house. Hall house, that is. Dating from around 1380, this building is a rare surviving example of a Cornish hall house. Over the centuries, it's had many uses, most notably as in a Victorian letter receiving office for the village. Today, there are five rooms and a traditional cottage garden for you to explore. And if you're a member of the National Trust, it's free entry. So cute, isn't it? Look at the, the roof, it's just... It's just an amazing building. I wonder what that was for then. Some sort of turntable, you reckon? Well, we've just come down a bit into the town and King Ar by the King Arthur's Arms and this is only £5 from 5pm to 10am in the morning. No tents though, no one do. We wouldn't want to put a tent up. <laughs> so um, we got ripped off, we paid £3 more. Mind you, we've got all day. You can park all day and all night. We're... Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah can, so, so you can arrive um, in the morning and park until the next morning. Yeah. With this one, you can't arrive until after 5 p.m. Yeah, yeah. So that's the only difference. However, if you just want someone to park up for a night, it's perfect. Yeah, that's not bad at all, is it? Can you see that? <laughs> oh, there he goes again. Oh, and another one down there. That's very cute. They stay very They do, don't they? They're beckoning. <laughs> the window coming in off the sea. Cool, it's cold. But in two weeks time we'll be hopefully we'll go well we'll be in Bali. And uh, I dare say then we've gone, God it's so hot. Who wants a pasty then? When you come down in the summer after watching this, you're going to be very disappointed because it's totally different. It gets very, very busy. And there's more campers, so you can... <laughs> that is a camper van. 
<laughs> well, I, I think that that is, that is like a hotel on wheels. <laughs> That's huge, I wonder how much it is in this car park. It could be Jackie and Tony, can it? Um, overnight parking, 6 p.m. to 10 a.m., £3.50. Wow. So as the further you come down, the cheaper it gets. It's <laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> So that's the reason the car park we're in is empty, because the further you come down into the town, it gets cheaper. So hopefully you can see that. Motorhomes, overnight parking, 6 pm to 10 am, £3.50. And you can use it just park up. Bargain. How lovely is that? Well, I guess um, if that's the end of the night outside, we're going to go and have a pot noodle and go to bed. Or wobbling even. We're back at the camper. Um, have we named it yet? Adrian. We've named the camper Adrian. So it's an Adria called Adrian. And it's an Adria. It's an Adria called Adrian. It's an Adria called Adrian. So there you are. It's official, the van has a name. Anyway, we've been out and had a really, really good night. I nearly swore then. We've had a really great night. We met some guys from Launceston and they were brilliant guys. We played a game of pool. We lost. Don't know how we lost, really, because we were superior in our <laughs> playing. <laughs> no, we were pants. Um, and... Um, there were so many people in the pub. It was amazing, absolutely amazing. It felt like, I mean, this is to show my age now, but it felt like being back in the 80s when pubs were busy, <laughs> wasn't it? It really felt, it really felt great. It, it really felt great. It, and something about a pub being busy, it's great. And this is Tintagel in March, so bear in mind, paying £3.50 if you go down to the lower car park. What a great night it's been. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Anyway, we're having a pot noodle now. I'm going to just, like, turn the camera around. All right, and that's not as easy as you think. So, we're having a pot noodle. Um, is it nice, Faith? Delicious. It's delicious. Yeah, we could have had pizza or something if we'd um, left the pub earlier. But we didn't, did we? Yeah, so there we are. We're having pot noodle for tea because we preferred having a beer. And what's that beer we're drinking? It's called Offshore? Offshore. Offshore. It's really nice lager. Really nice lager. And um, I think it's something special down in here. I don't know if it's like a... It's a Cornish lager. It is a Cornish lager. Um, it's lovely. And it creeps up on you. Um, it's... I think four pints would creep up on most people. <laughs> so there you are, it. Four point, four pints, points, points, points. Four I can't even speak points. anymore. Oh, I can't even speak anymore. So we've had a lovely evening, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. Um, here we are on um, day two. Very cold night last night. Um, we had um, hail and we had a bit of um, sleet as well, I think. Um, but the sun is again trying to break out. I'm going to have a wander around today while V's going to stay at the van and do some work. Um, we've just wandered down to the uh, cafe down in the main road. I'm not sure what the cafe's called, but um, I'll find out and tell you. 
Um, so yeah, we're just going to have a little bit of breakfast. I'm going to have a bacon bap and a coffee, and uh, we'll get on. And, uh, well, I said we. I will go for a wander and take you for a tour around Tintagio and show you some bits and pieces. He's gone back to uh, do some work now on the, in the van, on the van, in the van. Um, obviously, this is an experiment as well to see if uh, we can work and go out and do filming and all the rest of it. So uh, she's back in the van now, carrying on do some work. It was also um, to see if the, See what we need to do to the van because um, we found a few faults with it now. Found a little leak on it, uh, which I hopefully is sorted. And um, seems where the awning is mounted, it wasn't sealed properly. Well, I think I've just seen a pheasant just down here, so we're going to have a little look, see if we can see where he's gone. There he is. You see quite a lot of dead peasants around in lanes because they seem to be quite stupid. They don't seem to have the um, urgency to get out of the way of the echoes and that look of them. Birds do. I don't know why. They're quite a pretty looking bird, though, aren't they? I don't know if they let me get any closer. Nah, there's no way I'm going to get over there. Anyway, we'll carry on. We had a lot of rain last night. Really hammered down. The rivers are flowing well. I mean, the last couple of days we've had so much rain. So we're going to go up to the bridge in the castle now. I think you're going to find if you come down in the summer, or even after Easter really, and there's going to be a lot more people about. So, if you want to experience this like this, you do need to come down in the winter months. There's a fair few people about. I said, well, I say a fair few people. You know, there are, are people about. Car parks are a little bit busier during the daytime than they were last night. You saw how empty the car parks were last night. Isn't that quite stunning? And there's the bridge. And take you onto that little bit of headland. And this is where the castle is supposedly for King Arthur was. And there used to be a cave below. We'll have a look in a little while, see if I can find that. And that's the cave they considered to be Merlin's cave. This is a Glebe Cliff, and we're going to just walk up a little bit further. You can have a look up there. I have really got the right walking shoes on today. I've got a pair of bloody trainers, but you're all right as long as it's not too muddy up here. We'll have a little, a little bit of a further walk up here. Then we'll turn around and go the other way and go down onto the lower part. And there we are. What a lovely view. I 
And there you can look down the coast. Well, I'll just ask how much it was to go across and have a tour of the island, and it's uh, £16.10 and um, pay. I'm not prepared to pay at the moment because I ain't really got a lot on me. Uh, I've only got about 10 quid. Not to worry. Um, apparently, if you're an English Heritage member, you can go across for free. And if you decide to pay the £16.10, then upgrade to the English Heritage, you get the £16.10 discounted off your your um, ticket or your purchase of English Heritage. So, I suppose in that respect, it's good. Quite a good deal. Anyway, we've got to walk around here now and go down to the bottom. Of course, if you're not very good at walking up and down hills, there's also the, a Land Rover service that brings you up and down, as you can see there. Adults are £1.50, and children are £1, or £2 and £1.50, depending on which point you want to go to. You see that? Hopefully I'll bring it in a bit, so you can see that. So even if you can't walk very far, you can still come down here. The lady was telling me that the beach has been closed because of the storms last week. So we'll just um, come down to the, the fence here so we can have a look. I don't think we're going to be able to go any further. That's a haven. So there are some seals here. I don't know if we'll see any. Quite rough and stormy, as you can see. And, uh, look up there. We can see the bridge from a different angle. If you look very carefully in the middle, there is a gap where it joins. Yeah. They don't tell you that before you walk across, do they? Headland and just see what we can see from up there. You can see how stormy the waves are. Now. Oh no, that area's closed off as well. If you've never been, you really should come. At this point I tried using a new microphone from a company called Monkey. I bought it on Amazon and you can hear how poor the quality is. Certainly won't be using this microphone again. And um, I'm going to hold myself to one side. Okay, right, I'm going to do the same again. I'm holding this DJI pocket now and I'm holding it as far away as I can. I've got a Ulanzi extension bar off below, so it just holds it a little bit further away from me. And I just wonder what the difference in the quality of the two cameras are. The first one was the Sony camera, and this one is the DJI Pocket 2. So that's with the sea and the rocks behind me. We're going to turn around again, and behind me is the bridge this time. So uh, how do I do that? It's harder to see on the screen, obviously, because it's a, a lot smaller screen. Um, and that can make a difference. And I've got to keep on looking at, make sure I look at the, the lens of the camera, not the screen. That's something I really am struggling to do with the, 
DJI Pocket, which I don't with a Sony, because obviously it's so much bigger. But we'll see the difference. Um, I'm using the DJI uh, wireless mic, so that's quite close to me, so um, I don't know how good it is with the wind and everything, but we'll hear the difference between the two mics and the difference with the two cameras, so hopefully there is a noticeable difference. If you look down, you can see the cave entrance down there. And that's what we as kids used to call Merlin's Cave. I mean, my kids in town decided it was as well. I don't know, really, there's lots of myths and legends of everything that go on in these places. But it kept my kids happy, and it kept us happy as kids. I think you definitely want to come here now, don't you? If you've made it this far in the video, you're really intrigued. And you're thinking, yeah, I'd like to come here. Over there we have the cafe. So if you wander down, you don't have to worry about eating and drinking. It's all here for you. And like I said, there's toilets here as well. And there's your Land Rover if you feel you're unable to walk back up. Tadjo, hope you've enjoyed a little look around, seen some great camping spots, haven't we? Anyway, hope it's been informative and given you some clues on what you want to do, give us a thumbs up. And if you're enjoying what I'm doing, maybe even subscribe to the channel, really appreciate it. Anyway guys, till the next video, and I think the next video, apart from the van tour, will be coming from Bali. So it'll be a little bit different, it won't be big woolly hats and gloves. Anyway, till the next one, see you soon guys. Bye.